I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithms. We'll understand how to multiply logarithms with different bases in this particular video. Question number one here is write an expression for log to the base ax times log to the base b of y. Question number two evaluate log to the base 3 of 4 times log to the base 2 of 3. Question number 3. Evaluate log to the base 3 of 8 times log to the base 2 of 3. 4 is to evaluate log to the base 3 of 1024 times log to the base 4 of 3. Question number 5 is log to the base 4 of 9 times log to the base 3 of 4. And question number 6 is to evaluate log to the base 8 of 3 to log to the base 3 of 4. Let us see how to multiply logarithms when they have different base. So basically we use change of base formula. To get the result. So if we have to here we have a very general expression which is log to the base a of x times log to the base b of y. Let's change the base to 10. So we could write this as log to the base 10 of x over log to the base 10 of a times log to the base 10 of y over log to the base 10 of b, right? So that becomes an expression which can always be applied to evaluate all these terms, right? Now with that in mind, I'd like you to pause the video, evaluate the given expressions, and then check with my solution, right? So let's begin with question number two, which is to evaluate log to the base three of 4 times log to the base 2 of 3. Now in this case log to the base 3 of 4 let's change the base to 10 so we get log to the base 10 of 4 divided by log to the base 3 times this becomes log to the base 10 of 3 over log to the base 10 of 2. So here log to the base 3 and log to the base 3 cancels, right? 4 can be written as 2 square, right? So we can cancel this and what we get here is log to the base 2 square for 4, right? Divided by log to the base 2 and that gives you 2 times log to the base 2 of log to the base 2 and the result is 2. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually evaluate this particular expression. Now, you can actually pause the video, solve question number three, and then look into my suggestions. Question number three here is log to the base three of eight times log to the base two of three. Now, eight is two to the power of three, and we'll change the base to 10. So we can actually write this as log to the base 10 of 8 over log of 3 times log of 3 over log of 2. So they cancel and what we get here is log to the base 10 of 2 q over log to the base 10 of 2 and that, that is 3, right? So this is 3 times log to the base 2 and this is log to the base 2 and so what do we get? We get 3 as the result. Is that clear to you? So that is how you can evaluate these terms. Now let's take up the other three. So we have now log to the base 3 of 1024 times log to the base 4 of 3. Now here we can write this as log to the base 10 of 1024 over log to the base 10 of 3 times log to the base 10 of 3 over log to the base 10 of 4. Now log 3 and log 3 cancel. What we're left with is log 1024 is 2 to the power of 10 and 4 is 2 square. 
So what we get here is 10 over 2, right, which is equal to 5. Perfect. So that is how we can actually use the power rule here and then write down the expression, right? Some of you can write another step here saying 10 log to the base 10 of 2 over 2 log to the base 2 and then get the final result. Similarly, we can do question number 5 which is log to the base 4 of 9 times log to the base 3 of 4. So here we can write this as log to the base 10 of 9 over log to the base 10 of 4. And this is log to the base 10 of 4 over log to the base 10 of 3. So these cancel and we have log to the base 10 of 3 square over log to the base 10 of 3. Now this is 2 times log to the base 10 of 3 divided by log to the base 10 of 3 which is just 2. Correct? So that is how we could do it. So I hope all the process which we have followed is clearly understood. So I'll leave this as your test question. Correct? So you can now pause the video, answer and then write your answer in the comments. If you have doubts, let me know. I hope that helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, it'll be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.